This ePortfolio is my capstone project for the University of British Columbia Master of Educational Technology program, allowing me to achieve TQS requirements for Category 6. It acts as a platform to demonstrate my philosophy and competencies related to the effective integration of technology into learning contexts. In this video, I will provide an overview on how to easily navigate this site. Secondly, I will share the overarching theme and theoretical framework that shaped the organization of this site. Finally, I will expound on why I chose the particular artifacts shown in this ePortfolio, as well as highlight reflection pieces that demonstrate my overall learning, journey, growth, and linkages between theory and practice. This ePortfolio was constructed using WordPress and the site features both static web pages and a blog page. Web pages are a great way to share content, whereas blog sites allow a community of practice to actively participate in dialogue within an online forum space. Educators are able to create blog sites or websites at no cost using WordPress and there is a selection of templates available to use. In the MET program, I worked with Weebly, Blogger, Haiku Learning, Moodle, and WordPress to create online learning content. However, as our school district uses WordPress to host the district site, I wanted to improve my skills at using this application for professional purposes. The landing page of this ePortfolio is the welcome page. You can find the welcoming message on the left-hand side, along with two widgets to the right. The particular template that I chose included widgets relating to blog sites such as archives, calendar, recent posts, and login options. However, as I have not included comment capabilities with my blog page, I replaced these blog supporting widgets with a slideshow widget and infographic. My blog page is for demonstration purposes only. The infographic provides you with a reference as to where to find specific artifacts and reflections connected to each course taken in the MET. Reflections and artifacts for each course have been embedded within pages that are categorized under an overall theme. For example, artifacts and reflections related to ETEC 500 can be found under market research. To easily move from one page to the next, you click on the green arrow found at the bottom of each page. At any time, you can also move from page to page using the drop-down menu found at the top. There are six main headings, Welcome, Introduction, Design Framework, Assessment Rubric, References, and Posts. The introduction includes a guided tour, purpose, theme, audience, and bio. Here you will find more information on the overall theme and rationale for creating an ePortfolio to demonstrate my learning. The design framework includes an overview as well as the subheadings of concept, market research, plan, design, acquire skills and tools, build a prototype, test the prototype, and launch the product. This is the area of the site where you find my learning artifacts and reflection pieces connected to courses taken in the MET program intended to demonstrate my overall learning journey. You will also find an assessment rubric that outlines my learning objectives, followed by references and blog posts. The blog posts were written while I was enrolled in ETEC 565 and ETEC 540 and act as a prologue to close the ePortfolio narrative. Constructivist and constructionist learning theories played a central role in shaping many of my learning experiences in the MET program. Throughout the website, you will find references to constructivist learning theorists such as Piaget, Vygotsky, and Pepper. Constructivism encourages students to actively engage with their environment and construct their own understandings through a process of assimilation, accommodation, and transformation. Students learn by doing. However, students learn concepts at a deeper level when they socially construct knowledge. 
Another two key references that were transformational in shaping how I view successful integration of technology into learning contexts were Tony Bates and Mishrin L. with their TPAC framework. Mishra's TPAC framework balances technology, pedagogy, and content knowledge to stress the importance of integrating technology in a way that is sound in pedagogy practice. Bates also advocates for this approach and has developed frameworks that help contextualize the issue of planning for technology use in the classroom. Technology can only improve teaching and learning if it is applied for specific pedagogical purposes. Hence, I chose the theme of From Concept to Concrete Product to provide an organizational framework for my ePortfolio that relates to a team of designers working together to construct a product. While it is an umbrella theme to frame my learning, the process of going from concept to concrete product is highly relevant to the learning approach we took in this program to complete assignments. Even though the MET program is taken online at a distance, we use technology to facilitate our ability to work collaboratively on group projects, engage in group discussions, and provide peer assessment. The design process applies to creating an educational technology application to be used in the classroom and even applies to creating this ePortfolio and the content within it. Because it requires theory and technical know-how to effectively integrate technology into the classroom, the courses themselves lend to a design framework. For example, ETEC 510 and ETEC 520 challenged us to be better designers and planners of technology applications to enhance and improve learning opportunities for students, and ETEC 522 gave us an opportunity to launch a venture idea for an emerging technology. I chose a variety of artifacts to showcase my learning in multi-literacy formats. Throughout the program, we collaboratively, as well as independently, completed assignments that varied in multimedia format. In this site, I have included a sampling of the variety of formats such as blog and wiki posts, websites, courses developed within learning management sites, videos, analysis papers, and research papers. In my reflections that accompany the artifacts, I have attempted to synthesize knowledge and theories gained through taking courses in the MET program, as well as apply my knowledge in practical application. The reflections that accompany each artifact are intended to link theory to practice and provide an overview on how the process involved in creating each artifact challenged me to grow as a learner. I hope you enjoy viewing this ePortfolio that celebrates my learning process in the UBC MET program.